Hello everyone and welcome to Extra Math. Today we will evaluate i equals 2 integral from 0 to plus infinity of x to the power minus a ln x plus b minus 1 dx. First, let's remember that if m is positive, then m equals to e to the power ln m. So this term can be written as e to the power ln x power minus a ln x plus b minus 1 dx. Here we will put the power down next to ln. So i becomes integral from 0 to plus infinity of e to the power minus a ln x plus b minus 1 all multiplied by ln x dx. Here we will multiply ln x with the bracket. So i becomes integral from 0 to plus infinity of e to the power minus a multiplied by ln square x plus b ln x minus ln x dx. Here we will distribute the powers over e, so i becomes integral from 0 to plus infinity of e to the power minus a ln square x multiplied by e to the power b ln x multiplied by e to the power minus ln x all dx. Now let us change the variable of the integration. Now we let u equals to ln x. Then x will be e to the power u, and dx will be derivative of e to the power u du, which is dx equals to e power u du. Let's now change the order of the integration. Here, if x equals to 0, then u equals to ln 0, which is minus infinity. And if x equals to plus infinity, then u equals to ln plus infinity, which is plus infinity. So i becomes integral from the new bounds minus infinity plus infinity of e to the power minus a instead of ln square x u square multiplied by e to the power b. Instead here of ln x, we have u. e to the power minus u instead of e to the power minus ln x multiplied by dx, which is e to the power u du. Let's now make some simplification. So i becomes integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of here e to the power minus a u square multiplied by e to the power p u here e to the power minus u plus u, which is e to the power zero, which is one. So i becomes integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of e to the power minus a u square multiplied by e to the power b u. Here we have same basis, so we will add the two powers. So i equals to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of e to the power minus a u square plus b u all du. Here we will take minus the minus the negative sign as a common factor. So i becomes integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of e to the power minus a u square minus or e to the power minus into a u square minus b u all d. Now let's let's find the canonical form of this term. Then we will add b square over 4a and subtract b square over 4a. So i becomes as follows. This term is equal to radical a multiplied by u minus b over 2 square root of a all square. And here we have b square over 4a square. So i becomes integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of e to the power minus this term square plus b square over 4a. Then we will distribute the two powers over e to get e to the power this term multiplied by e to the power the second term. So i becomes e to the power minus square root of a multiplied by u minus b over 2 square root of a all square multiplied by e to the power b square over 4a square. This is a constant. So i becomes e to the power b square over 4a square integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of e to the power minus this term square du. Let's now change the variable of the integration for the second time. Let us take t as this term. So t equals to square root of a multiplied by u minus b over 2 square root of a. We can do some simplification and find u 
then u becomes 1 over square root of a into t plus b over 2 square root of a. So du will be 1 over square root of a dt. Let's now substitute i equals 2 e to the power b square over 4a square exponential power instead of this term we will put t so we will have e to the power minus c square and instead of du we will put 1 over square root of a dt so i becomes here 1 over square root of a is constant so i equals 2 1 over square root of a multiplied by e to the power b square over 4a multiplied by integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of exponential power minus t square dt. This is the Gaussian integral and it's equal to radical pi. Therefore, i equals to 1 over square root of a multiplied by e to the power b square over 4a multiplied by radical pi. Therefore, we get integral from 0 to plus infinity of x to the power minus a ln x plus b minus 1 dx equals to e to the power b square over 4a multiplied by square root of pi over a. Thank you for watching.